on the judgment day, when he takes a look, be sure that he finds you, your name, in that book. And I'm glad nobody can erase it. Nobody can blot it out. The only one can get your name out of the book is you. Right, amen. Amen. I don't believe that old thing. Once saved, always saved. You can do anything you want to do. You've got to maintain. You've got to keep it. I believe getting saved is staying saved. And that's the way you keep your name in there. All right. I want to make sure my name is there. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. God's good, isn't he? God is so good. Yes. Let's preach a little while. Uh, maybe tomorrow or Wednesday night or whatever, we'll, we'll sing two songs. And uh, I've got, uh, I'm going to learn a song. I'm going to learn. i got a brand new song I want to sing because I found something the other day. And I walked in the church and I found something. And uh, I'm going to talk about it probably Wednesday night, what I found. Uh, Y'all hearing me now? I found something in the church. And I ain't going to say nothing about it until Wednesday night. But Wednesday night, I'm going to talk about it. So y'all better be prayed up. <laughs> oh, hallelujah to God. Now I've got y'all thinking now. Would keep you thinking, thinking. I want you to think, because I'm definitely going to talk about it. I'm going to do more than that. I'm going to even sing and try to sing a song about it. Huh? Ooh, is your heart right with God? <laughs> is your heart right with God? Is your mind right with God? Right, Y'all wondering what I found? Are you thinking about what I found? Right. I ain't going to tell you. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. I'm not even going to tell Brother Smith. So Wednesday night, he'll find out when you find out. <laughs> hallelujah. I want to preach a little while tonight, and maybe not too long, but... Um, like I told you, when I so many times when I get out of bed early in the morning, there's something you do uh, when I'm preaching revival, and this has happened just about all of our evangelistic type movement. Not always, but most of the time, there'll be something rolling in the morning. There'll be something uh, going over in my brain when I wake up. Uh, and uh, sometimes I presume that that's God. And I believe it is God. And because if I'm not preaching anywhere and I, uh, that night or anything, so many times I, it don't, there's nothing rolling. Right. It's just a plain blank. And then sometimes when I'm preaching, it's a blank. Yeah. <laughs> I have done that, and, and that scares me to death. I don't know about the Smith, but when you study all day long and you pray and, and all the way, they, they ain't nothing no worse than having one message as when you have two. And you don't know which way you'll go. All right. All right. <laughs> so I always in revival, if I preach messages, if the Lord gives me messages like one, two, three, four, then I preach them in that in that in that in that in that, in that way. One, two, three, four. All right. All right. Yeah. And if somehow I, I don't know why, but it just works. Yeah. Right. And the Lord does it. He don't get his math messed up. But here's what was going over in my brain a little bit. And I, I know uh, that this is probably just uh, to some, it's probably just old hat. But uh, in Psalms 19 and uh, verse 5, it says, Rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. Rejoiceth as a strong man. That's just part of Psalms 19 and 5. But it says it in there. It's a rejoice of. Uh, how many knows what rejoicing's all about? Uh, rejoice of as a strong man that's going to run a race. Hallelujah. 
And I, I begin thinking, I got up this morning to think of this tune. Hey, get back in the race. Come on, get in the race. Get in there. Hallelujah. It's not, and uh, I thought, well, all of us are human. You can be seated. All of us is just human. And in the natural, when somebody starts to run a race, uh, sometimes they do not count the cost before they start off. They, I've seen people start with all oh, so much enthusiasm and running a race, and uh, but they don't they they don't realize that they could get tripped up. I mean, listen to me. You got to realize, no matter who you are. And uh, when you run a race, you got to understand there's a lot of tripping. There's a lot of things that can cause you to uh, to go the right or left. There's a lot of times you really just plainly, if you're like I am in my human state, and sometimes you just really don't know what to do. All right? How many's ever been there? Yeah. Yeah. I think I will, but I don't know if I will or not. We do that a lot when we're trying to find out what we need to sing. Sometimes my wife says, what song you got? I said, I ain't got nothing. What about you? I ain't got nothing. Well, I said, get something. And then after we get, I don't know if this works or not. I want to make sure it works. I don't know. And uh, But usually it ends up, you know what I'm talking about, we've got to, because... It, it, it's a journey that we own. It, it's a journey, and, and and in that journey, everybody has a uh, uh, has those things. You start the race. Are you with me? Uh, and the race. In other words, uh, a strong man, when he begins to start the race, he rejoices because of all the excitement of starting. But he rejoices even before he starts. He's all excited about it. To him, it's new. I was, I was thinking about the, uh, uh, the day. I was thinking about people who uh, run a race, in the, uh, especially uh, the uh, disabled veterans. And the disabled veterans, uh, that's people who uh, play, uh, play a ball, and, and they play soccer, and they do it from wheelchairs. To them, they get all excited because... They got other people just like them in competition, and one of them's going to win the prize. But they've got to work it with their hands. They've got to work it with all the uh, what they have left. Some of them don't have no knees, no legs, no anything. And then some of them, uh, they don't. They have legs, but they don't have no arms or just different different things and different problems that they have. But they rejoice it because of the one fact that they are going to keep a going into the, the route that they're taking. I mean, it's with me. They're going to keep on. They are in that race. They rejoice it because they are able to participate in a, in a, in a journey or, or, or in something that they're going to do. As a matter of fact, I've been invited to join some of them and, and I, uh, because I do belong to disabled veterans. But there's something about it. Hallelujah. Uh, the Sabbath of uh, Thursday. You stay at home for a while and you just get doing your thing. After a while, I feel like when people come to God, they, they want to be some excitement when they walk in the door. Amen. They haven't made up their mind they're going to go on the journey. They haven't made their mind they're even going to start the race. They haven't done anything except just know that there is going to be a race. Come on. There is going to be a revival. There is going to be a move of God. There is being a move of God. There is being a move of the Holy Ghost. There is a race. We don't need, we know there's going to be a race. What we need, we know the race. How many knows it's a race? But the fact of it is, we need participators. 
We need people to get inside of it about being a part of the race. And then we need people to say, look, I'm going to run. I'm going to participate. And they get so full of joy and rejoicing. Hallelujah. Not because they're in the race, just because of the fact hallelujah, that there is one. And they know that there is one that they can participate in. Oh, Lord. I'm making sense now. I, I, I won't preach long, but I'm going to try to preach a little while. And uh, so I, I woke up with that. But, hey, get in the race. Let's get in there. Hallelujah. And then we make the mistake. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm fast enough. Or I don't know that I'm able to do it. Or I don't know if I'm brave enough to do it. I don't know. All the things can be in your mind. Your battle against the devil doesn't start when you get in a race. It starts before you get in a race. Hallelujah, my battle started before I went to the altar. My battle started before all, I mean, I even, but there's something about it. But they got to talking about the race. They got to talking about the journey. They got to talking about somebody winning the prize. They got to talking about something good about it. And all at once, I found myself, hallelujah, I wanted to be a participator in the, in the race. I didn't know if I could win. I didn't know if I wouldn't win. I didn't know what it was all about. But I knew that I wanted to become a participator in the race. Tonight, church, what we wanted you to do is become a participator in this race to word heaven. We've got a goal to go on. We want you to be a part of it. Well, I'm just preaching what the Lord wanted me to preach. And I, I read scripture. I, I I read some scripture, and I got to thinking about it. And uh, and uh, is he in the book of Ecclesiastes about nine eleven? I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift. And you mean to tell me that you don't have to be a fast runner to get in this race? No, it ain't the fast runner. A fast runner can take off speedily, but it ain't long. He's a huffing and a puffing. And he's struggling because he didn't take time out to condition himself for the long haul. I'm not in this for a short run. I'm in it for the endurance of the race. The race we run in is an endurance race. It is not a minute speed race. It is not a quarter of a mile. It's every mile, mile after mile. It's from I don't know how long and how many years your race will be, but it will it'll be until the day God chooses to take you home. And I want you to know right now, so though some people choose to run fast, they get in there, you'll see them get in there, and brother, they'll run, and they'll run the aisle, they'll shout and everything else. But after a while, they get tripped up because it wasn't for the swift it wasn't for the swift but I appreciate when some people get in there they are swift they can run man they can shout at a drop of a hat hallelujah sometimes I wonder why I see a lot of hats drop and I don't run I see other people getting them blessings, and that's good. I live, but when I get one, I'm, I thank God for <laughs> I get it. All right. yeah. I used to get one and drop it about every hat. Now I found out I get one about every hundred hats dropped. But that don't mean that don't mean that I'm not a participator in the race. That doesn't mean just because you don't shout like everybody else is shout does not mean you are not a participator. Hallelujah. You're just as much a participator as the next fellow that doesn't run in and shout. Just stay in there. That fellow that started out running at high speed, after a while he's going to shift gears. And you know what? That old fellow that's in Granny Low is going to go right by him. Because it's still there. He's still. 
I know sometimes I feel like that I'm going so slow that I am not getting anything done. On my journey, I feel like I'm not making any progress. But then, as the time goes by, I look behind me, and I have absolutely covered some ground. Sometimes, you got to look behind you and realize you're not where you used to be. Hallelujah, the scenery has changed. Your life has changed. You've grown in God. How do you been, we made it on down the road and you'll wonder, hey, how did I do that? Amen. I didn't know I did that. I didn't realize I done, but God showed you, showed you that you ain't at the same place you used to be. And somehow I want you to know you're still in the race. You still got something done. It wasn't a whole lot, but you got done. Amen. And sometimes the devil said, you ain't doing nothing. Amen. Going to this little church, you hang on to your hat. Amen. Just look back a little bit you'll find out you've covered some ground you've covered some ground you you've made a journey you you went on a little bit even the piano players are getting a little better and all you that put up with him ought to thank God for it uh, still in the race still going still going Still going. Still going. Still going. <laughs> Come on, I'm still running. I'm still running. I'm still in church. I still got the victory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Know ye not that they which run in a race? And then it stops and said, run all. In other words, you're not the only one running. We all running. My run becomes a slow crawl, but I'm still running. I'm still in this run. I don't know what God wanted me to get over to somebody. Children, you got the Holy Ghost, you're still running. Children is going to be children. They're going to grow up. You might not see it, but every day they grow a little bit. You start you buy the kids clothes for a while, and you'll find out they have growing spells. Huh? Hallelujah. Even Brother Smith's going to have to get a little bit because of this. He's got growing spells. My son says it like nobody else. I do swell. I'm on the journey. Come on. I want you to be glad and rejoice because you can feel God now. You can rejoice now. You are feeling the power of God now. We might not be running the aisle tonight, but you can feel God now. You can feel the Holy Ghost flowing now because you're in a place where then you realize you are still running. You are still going. You're still making progress. Sister Smith don't, don't have to... Work no more. Ooh, that's progress. Ooh, so now she can run double time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm talking about we're in this together. We're going to run all. Come on. We all going to go to church. We all is here. We're going to be one of mine and one accord. And we're going to get something done because of the fact that we're still running. We to join me in this race. We're going to win, but we're going to win together. I thought, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Run all, but one receiveth the prize. What does it mean? Run all, but one receiveth. It's only one prize. We all get the same prize. We all, 
the prize is so big and so great, one of us can't handle it. We all run, and we all get the prize. Hallelujah. I said, we all get the prize because, and then he said, so run, so run, get with it, run on, join me in this race. Hallelujah, join me in this race. We're going to run together. We're not running apart. We're on the same track. Come on, Brother Smith, we're on the same track, going in the same direction. I mean, it's on the way to heaven. Shout say, I'm on my way. I don't know when I get there, but I will get there. I don't know how many days it's going to take me, but I will get there. I don't know what time I get there, but I will get there. Somebody help me preach a little bit. But I will get there. I will get there. He come up on something of a high. We will get there. It's a race. Stay in it. Get in it. Stay in it. Enjoy it. Rejoice in it. Young whippersnapper, you can probably outrun me. But I can hang on longer. It's not a competition between us. It's not a competition about who can run the fastest. It's a competition who can stay in there and last through it all. You'd be seated, but I begin to talk a little bit. There's people here, and I know that you're human, and somewhere along the line, some of you probably, probably got out of the race. Or either you just plumb just quit running. Come on. Huh? And some of us, we didn't, we didn't ever get out. We just stopped. We stayed on the track. Some others stopped and blocked other people from going on. Going on. They were good people. Hallelujah. There's some that is going to find it harder than they thought. There's some that don't. All you got to do to get weak in the legs is quit exercising prayer. Hallelujah, quit eating the Word of God, quit praying, and it ain't long until your steps are slowed down. But then all at once something comes up, and something happens, and you say, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold it, hold it. I'm getting in the race. I'm getting back in the race. There's one thing about it when somebody loses it and they realize the devil's tricked them up and they get back in the race, they not they not weaker, they become stronger. They're stronger because they fought against the devil and in the end he, he won or they won simply because of the faith. They said, I'm getting back in the race. I know I can win. I know I can win. I slowed down and I stopped. But now I'm back in that race and I ain't going to quit now. I got my mind made up. Well, I just if you ain't never had a stop sign in front of you, you ain't been in church very long. We can get out of a red hot revival and go home sometimes. And we have lately. We went home and my wife said, I hit a bottom. I said, you hit a bottom? Yeah, I hit a bottom. Low. Real low. I said, what'd you do? Slide down the hill? Because you hit the bottom. <laughs> I said, well, what are we going to do? And everybody, it don't matter who you are, you're going to sometime hit the bottom. <laughs> Come on, be tough. I'm going to tell you the truth. What do you do when you hit the bottom? What do you do when, when you feel like friends <laughs> is not there to back you up? What do you do when you feel like everything's turned against you? 
and you hit a low. You get up in the morning and it's hard just to get the word out. It's hard to even say the word J- J- Jesus. Huh? It's hard to even pray sometimes. On the journey, on the race, somewhere you'll go through that. But all at once, what do you do? It's those times when you need a friend to come by. But nobody does. It's those times when you need to live, but it seems like there's nobody around to help you. It's those times when you need a crutch to help you on the journey. Somebody needs to give you a wheelchair, but there's no one around. So what do you do? When you go to those times, just remember one thing. Look behind you. When you look behind you and you realize you're not where you used to be, then you start looking in front of you and say, look, this is no stopping place. Devil, I'm not stopping here. I'm not going to stop on this little place where I'm at. And the first thing you know, you say, hey, devil, you might think I can't run. You might think I don't have no strength, but God is my strength. I'm not going to run on my strength, but I'm going to run on his strength. And when I start getting up, I go to church by his strength. I go to church by his will. And I said, hey, I jump back in the race. And I find myself after a little bit better and a little bit of prayer. I find myself praying again. And I find myself stronger than I've ever been. Because I said, look, devil, I mean, I, I'm back in the race. I'm back a running. I'm back a going. Woo, Lord. What do you do? Get in the race. Climb that hill that's hard to climb. Go through that valley that's wide. But on the top of the mountain... When you get close to God, remember, there's another valley, another river, another cross, another battle, but I'm still in the race. It makes me sad sometimes, the tricks that the devil plays on people. It gets me mad when He's a sly old fox. If I could catch him, I'd put him in a box. I'd lock the box and throw away the key for all them dirty old tricks he's trying on me. I mean, listen to that. Another one, Brian Free in his shirt, just sang a song. Liar, liar. <laughs> the devil is a liar, liar. Uh, he's going, <laughs> I'm going up and he's going down. He's going south, and I'm going north. He's a liar, liar. You heard it. He's going to try to lie to people. He'll do anything to get you to give up and quit. And you ain't going to quit. The, The last thing you do before quitting is stop. You start running. And when you stop running, that's when the devil starts playing tricks on your brain. Sometimes the devil will let you build your hope up so much to where God says, this is not the way to go. Then it blows you out of the saddle. So I've got a little song to sing. I'm back in the saddle again. That's all I know. I got knocked out by the wind. Come on. I've been through the trials and tests. The storms of life will always be. But oh, look, devil. I'm back in the saddle again. I'm back in the race again. I'm running again. Look, look. Ooh, hello. I know you've had your slow times, brother. 
you got real slow. You put it down to Granny Low, then you stopped. But oh, but now you're back in the race again. You're back in the saddle again. <laughs> Running and praying again. Getting the touch of God again. Somebody stand up with me and I look at somebody and say, I may be going slow, but I ain't stopped. I'm still running. I'm still huffing and puffing. I'm like a choo-choo train. I say, I'm like a choo-choo train. Puff, puff, puff. I'm just going up another hill. But my steam's building up. I'm a huffing and a puffing, but I ain't stopped. Get in the race. Get in the race. Get in the race. Stay in the race. Get in there. Son, get in there. Get the Holy Ghost. Get it all over. From here to there. Get in the race. It's a challenge. Come on, sign up for it. I said, sign up for it. Become not just an observer, but become. That word, participator. Don't become a couch potato. <laughs> become a participator. I want to participate in a revival. I want to participate. No, I don't want to. Be a spectator. That's the one that stands in the bleachers and never do nothing. Right. But I want to be a participator. Right. I'll run the 500 dash. Whatever they say it is, 100, whatever they are. Marathon. I, I, but I don't get it. Well, you can't run. And you can't participate in in anything. Well, if I have to do it in a wheelchair, I'll just join the diso, the, uh, the, the not the disobedient veterans, but the disabled veterans. <laughs> we'll get in there, and I get somebody to pull me and push me. Come on! But we can. We. we I repeat, I'm just not one to stay on the sidelines. I got to be, let's do it together. I got to be involved in the building of this church. Yeah. Every time I come down to preach a revival, I, I, I pick up his burden. And I, I, that's the reason why I preach like he can preach by the anointing because I pick it up. And I want to become a part of of the, seeing you run. It, it's thrilling to see these young folks get the Holy Ghost. Yeah. It makes my heart go click, 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 bubble, bubble. I don't know. It does something to it. But I'm in this race. I'm in this race. And I'm going to stay in this race. If you see me going slow, get behind me and push. Or get in front of me and pull. Just, but when I start going fast, get out of my way. Yeah. I'm in this race. I'm in this race. And if you're not, get in it. Sister, I know you've had your journeys. I know you've had your times when race was hard for you. But I saw you shouting the other night. It didn't seem like it was hard at all. <laughs> I'm glad to see you in the race. I'm glad you see you in it. Woo, glory. Yeah. Even if you ain't got no teeth, I'm still glad you're in the race. Yeah. You can't eat a steak that I can eat. Uh -huh. Woo, glory. But you're still in the race. Yeah. Woo. Wow. I'm still going to preach a message. Right. I found something in the church. And I'm going to talk about it. Wednesday night. I'm in this race. Glorious race. 
I'm running a race for a heavenly crown. I can't stop now. I can't slow down. I got my eyes up on the goal. I can't stop now. I'm almost there. In heaven's home, I'm running the race for a heavenly crown. I can't stop now. I can't slow down. I got my eyes up on the goal. Can't stop. Almost there in heaven's home. I'm running a race for a heavenly crown. I can't stop now. I can't slow down. I got my eyes up on the goal. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm in the race. I love you, Jesus. What for seeing, we also are compassed about with such a great cloud of witnesses. Let us run away. You know the rest of it? Let us lay aside. Every weight and the sin that do up so easily beset us. And then our next words are just highlighted. It says, Let us run. Let us run. Let us run. This race, get this picture, that is set before us. We don't know the layout of the land. We don't know what it looks like. All right, well. I have never run this race before. I don't know what to tell you is what lies in front of us. But I will tell you this. God said he'd never leave you and he'll never forsake you. And he'll run this race with you all the way. Can't stop now. I can't slow down. I got my eyes up on the go. Can't stop now. Almost there in heaven's home. I'm running the race for a heavenly crown. Paul, stoned and left for dead. But the saints gathered around, and he said, he revived, and he got right back in, kept on running. Church, you need each other. We need each other. I kind of want, I know a lot of folks don't like old Trump as president, but I will say this about him. He's still running. <laughs> I said, he's still in there. He's still running. How about you? You still running? 
Yeah. I said, you're still running? Thank you. Appreciate it. Hallelujah. My goodness, I love that song. <laughs> I'm running the race for heavenly ground. I can't stop now. I can't stop Wednesday night, I got, I'm going to tell you about <laughs> what I found. Hallelujah. Well. Y'all think about it and pray through. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, Wednesday night, what I found. Amen. Please come to church. 